legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Wayne Dottie got life in prison for a meth-fueled murder in 1996. Then five years ago, while in the general population, he killed another inmate, pled guilty, and got death. He had like two years left to go on his sentence, and then he was going home a free man, but he, he decided to steal something that didn't belong to him. Well, that goes on in prison every day. Dottie has asked the courts to stop his appeals. And I believe that a man is entitled to their own destiny, their own choices. We interviewed Dottie because he wrote to us to say that he didn't want another life sentence. That's a possibility, though, after the death sentencing scheme in Florida was declared unconstitutional. He describes life in the general population as horrific and lacking hope. They steal, they rob, they, they do anything they can by any means to, to, to survive in that environment. You're really making the case that life on death row is better than general population. Oh, yeah. I mean, death row has actually got better living conditions. Oh, yeah. But you don't want to die. You know, uh, anybody in their right mind isn't ready to die. The Supreme Court's decision on whether the men and women on death row stay there or go back to life imprisonment could be weeks or months away. And I know how I feel waking up every day looking at life in prison, you know, with no family, no friends. And Dottie sounded like a man conflicted resigned to die, but saying the choice is now out of his hands. Reporting from Florida State Prison, I'm Mike Vasilinda.